Hey nerds, welcome back to Nerd Matter 3D. I've gotten a lot of requests over various social media platforms to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make our NFC business cards. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to talk about how you can use the 3M app that we have available to download on our Etsy shop and upload your logo and create your own business card. That will include how to convert your logo from JPEG or PNG to an SVG file so that you can bring that into the slicer, how to use our 3M app that we have available for purchase in our Etsy shop to make it quick and easy for you to make your own business cards, but I will also touch on how you can make them by yourself if you don't want to purchase. However, I will say it took a lot of fighting with the slicer for me to get a working file with the negative space built in, so if you don't want to deal with that, Head on over to our Etsy shop and you can pick up that 3M app today. So we're going to get started by taking our logo and converting it to an SVG. There are two ways that you could do this. The first is to break the logo down into its different color components and import those as separate SVGs so that they are different objects within the slicer. That's what we did with our Nerd Matter logo since it was just two colors but a lot of individual little pieces that would have been annoying to paint in the slicer. In today's video, I'm going to show you the other option which is to bring the SVG over as a single color and then manually paint it in the slicer. We're going to start with this free SVG converter tool. You can use any one that you find online. We're using picksvg.com. So we will upload our photo and it's going to automatically take that image and convert it into an SVG. You can look through the different options and see which one looks best for the logo that you're doing. I think this Edge 3 is going to be the best for the logo that we're using. So we'll go ahead and download this SVG. Then we are going to pull up our slicer. So again, if you've purchased the file from our Etsy shop, it's going to bring you in with these two options. One that has the negative space and tag built in for the NFC card, and one that is a blank version, does not have the negative space for the NFC if you want to make a more traditional business card. The one with the NFC already comes preset with the instructions for tapping your phone, so we just need to add the logo. So what we'll do is we'll go to File, Import, Import 3MF. We're going to do the SVG file that we just created. So that'll come in. It's obviously way too big and it's facing the wrong direction. This file is set up to print face down so that we can use a 3D effects plate when we print it. So the first thing that we're going to do is scale it down so that it fits onto the business card. I'm actually going to change it to be white just so that it's a little easier to see. So then we want to flip the image so, so that it's face down. Select the image and just do a rotate 180 degrees. Now we have this reversed image that we can move over onto our business card. The next thing that we want to do is make sure that it's placed at the right Z height. So we want to set the Z height of our logo to be zero because we want it to print on the same surface. 2.64 millimeters thick is way too thick for this logo. So what we're going to do is uncheck the uniform scale. And ideally we want this logo to be about three layers thick. Our layer height is 0.12 millimeters. So we're going to set it to 0.36 millimeters. Now we have the logo flat on the bed and we have the height of the logo set to about three layers. So we're going to line this back up into position and then we can look at it at the bottom. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the color. Here's where it helps to have the colors already loaded over here. I'm going to set the colors we're going to be using in our file. So I can come over here, select the pink, use the fill tool, and do same connected color or edge detection. Again, your choice there is going to be dependent on your logo. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. And in our case, the neural move is going to stay in white. So we just needed to paint in the logo 
and then we can hit return. And then when we slice this plate, we can see that the logo will be filled in here. Right now, we're still getting this serious warning, conflictive G code, but that's okay, that's expected. Next, we're going to merge the logo into the card so that we no longer get that G code conflict error. So what we will do is we will just select both of these, right click and hit merge, and then slice this plate. And so now we use the slicer, verify that everything looks good. So right now we're looking at the bottom, we have the NeuroMove logo. So the first thing I like to do is verify that the first layer is going to print how we want it to. So I will pull this all the way down so that we're just looking at the first layer and watch the layer get drawn out. So it's gonna start with the white text and then it's gonna fill in the blue around it and then it's gonna fill in the pink logo. So we should see that also occur at layer two. And layer three, you can see, let's draw them individually. But it should no longer be there at layer four. As a reminder, we set the layer height for the logo to 0 0.36, so that should be about three layers, meaning it should be gone by layer four, and it is. Layer four is also the first layer where we see the negative space start to form. The negative space is still there at layer five with the pause automatically built in. Here's where you put the NFC sticker in during this pause. We can see again that it is going around that negative space and not filling it in. Layer six is where we see that negative space fill in. So that's the first layer that prints over the NFC card, which is why we pause at layer five. Layer seven, eight, nine, and 10 go off without a hitch. Then we can come back and check on our text for the top layers as well and make sure all of those look like they're going to work as we expect. So this file looks great already. We're gonna go ahead and send it to the printer and we'll come back in about 45 minutes to an hour depending on your logo and detail and we'll see how it looks when we're done. While that is printing, I'm going to touch on the ways that you can build this file yourself in case you're interested in trying it out. If you've already purchased the file from our Etsy shop, then you can skip this part. I'll go ahead and put chapter selections at the bottom and go to the next chapter for when the print is off the printer. So we will come back here and take a look using the same file and I'm just going to talk you through it. Similar to how we brought in the SVG logo, we also added the graphic for this scan with your phone and we added text to tap with your phone. So the scan logo is 0.24 millimeters thick, which is two layers. I find that one layer is really not enough to get the crisp detail of the color. So we have two layers here for the scan logo and the text. In order to add the negative space for the NFC card, what you need to do is come to the card, right click and do add negative part. Then likely pick a cylinder. I made ours three layers thick. So again, I went ahead and changed this to 0 0.36. And I believe 20, 25 to 30 should be what you need for the stickers that we're using. If you're using different branded stickers, you wanna make sure that your negative space is appropriately sized to accommodate the stickers. The reason that you need to add a negative space is because when the printer goes to print over the sticker, it can't be higher than the surface that it's expecting to print on. Otherwise, it knocks the nozzle up and you don't get a clean print. Usually the filament starts to build up around the nozzle and the back is all messed up. Once we get the negative space positioned relatively close to the middle, you can see that it's just floating above the card. 
So you need to lower the height to something that's going to be somewhere in the middle of your card. Again, that's going to vary based on exactly how you have your setup. But keep in mind with the world coordinates, the number that is displayed is the number of the top surface of the item. So we're going to set this Z height to 0.84. And now our negative space should be lying in the middle of this card. We slice the plate and we can see that we nailed it. So we've got the logo on one side, we've got the negative space built in, if we slice the plate, then we should see all of that occur. So we can do the same test. We'll look at the bottom. We'll watch the first layer. It gets drawn appropriately. Look back at the top. We're going to add a pause here. You can see an issue that is coming up here. This text does not look good. And that's because we have 0.4 selected as the nozzle. This text is too fine of detail for a 0.4 nozzle. So if we're looking to print something with that fine of text, we are going to need to switch to a 0.2 nozzle. Once we do that, when we slice the plate, you'll see that the text comes through much better. However, this will also take longer to print. So here with the 0.2 nozzle, we're at two hours and five minutes. With the 0.4 nozzle, when we slice the exact same file, we are at 50 minutes and 55 seconds. So you will have to make the determination if you want fine text and a longer print time, or if you want to prioritize a faster print time and make that text and detail a little larger so that the 0.4 nozzle can handle it. So I hope that was helpful for you. Now we're going to jump back to our finished product of the first business card. Okay, about 45 minutes later and the card is done and it looks great. Everything about it. Let me see if you guys can see this here. The logo turned out great. The text on the back turned out great. And this one is pretty cool because it's kind of a translucent blue filament, which I was not expecting. Um, so you can kind of see the NFC tag through the business card. Yeah, so you can kind of see the NFC tag through it. You can see my fingers shadowed behind it. I think that that adds a really neat effect. We're gonna, we are gonna go ahead and ask him if he likes to see through or if he wants us to print it again in a non-see-through filament, but there you have it. That's how you print the business cards using our file from our Etsy shop. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more content coming out of our channel, please like and subscribe. It really does help us get started as our new business. Until next time, happy printing and stay nerdy.